Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. The giant sequoia is among the oldest living organisms on the planet. Some standing in California today were alive when the Egyptians built the pyramids. Ooh, well, these magnificent giants exist in only a few dozen groves in California. Meteorologist Jim Cantori explains how they are under threat from changes created by humans. Nasty weather. Now, it was on the east coast here, especially the southeast coast, that got the worst of the weather this weekend with that coastal low. It was nonstop windy. And then we had some showers, and then we had the flooding, too, which you know, it was a combination of the fact that we had this coastal low and we had the king tides. So North Carolina 12, you know the deal. When there's a system out here, whether it's a tropical system or a nor'easter or a coastal system like this, it definitely um, it definitely uh, feels the brunt of it. And it is closed between That's Mark Bass. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's talk about this chill because we have some cold air that's on the way. We've already seen some chilly weather out so far this fall season, but more to come. Here are all the cities that have at least gotten to that first of freezing temperature of this season. We've seen a few areas, even in the parts of the south, yep. that have gotten into that. Uh, Something we love to track. Right really cool um, sky views, too. Last uh -huh. night, the sunsets were just amazing. Oh, there's been some great ones. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, well, maybe you'll have an opportunity to get out and enjoy them here over the next day or so with some above average temps. Yeah. Before things start to cool down today, 5 to 15 above from the northeast, the Great Lakes, parts of the southwest as well. Yeah, we're staying above average as we get through the middle of the week. Maybe not as far above, but you'll still see you know, relatively warmer times across the Ohio Valley and parts of the northeast. The fall color has just been so stunning this year. I feel like it's been one of the best. Uh, it's, the pictures have been coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friday, though, thing, here comes some of that cool air. The blue shades do start to take over the middle of the country, and that will kind of bleed towards the east as we head to in through the, into the week. Yeah, that's going to um, that's gonna definitely filter in with some wind as well. So it has been beautiful in the afternoons right here, but the nights really cool down. And, you know, one thing we look to for temperatures during day versus night is are there clouds or not? So during the daytime, if you have clouds, the clouds actually will deflect some of that sunlight so it can't get all the way down to warm you at the surface and and, you know, temps end up being a little bit cooler. And, you, you know, you feel that when it's a really hot day, right? You're outside and that cloud moves overhead and blocks yeah. the sun. You're right. like, right. oh, thank goodness. But then at nighttime, here's the difference. You know, you, you might have heard clouds act like a blanket. It's not ex exactly scientifically true, but it sort of works that way because clouds end up holding on to some of the radiation. So not only do they prevent everything from escaping, but they emit back, more importantly, and keep you a little bit warmer when you have clouds at nighttime. So that can really allow those temperatures at night to not drop as much. When the skies are clear, it bottoms out. Yeah, that's usually it. When you see those clear skies or forecast, forecast to be on the clear side, you know you're going to have an opportunity to sort of maximize how cool you can actually get. And that's how we get days like this, where in the morning you're like, okay, I need a jacket. And then all of a sudden by, you know, <laughs> by lunchtime you're like, oh, I put too many layers on today, right? 74 in Birmingham this afternoon, but then overnight we're dropping into the low 40s. Yeah, but by the time we get uh, into the afternoon hours, right back to the mid-70s. Yep. So, yeah, you, you, you step into your car uh, with yeah. the windows that have been closed. Oh, and you're like, whoo, it's yeah. hot in here. That's why. By the way, do you see Birmingham sunset right now? No. It is before 5 o'clock. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, you get this long night, too. That's another <laughs> reason why you get to cool down so much at night. Oh, Marietta, Georgia, suburb of Atlanta. 72 for your high today, but waking up tomorrow in the upper 30s. Again, clear skies, and by the afternoon, we'll warm right back up to the mid-70s. Yeah, I do like being on the western end of the time zone, so not quite as early of a sunset here, <laughs> but still, our nights are growing longer right here. That's what happens this time of year, so we are able to really see those dramatic temperature changes from day to night. Atlanta area, you've got temps that are going to be in the low 70s in the afternoon today, but then overnight, low 40s. Yep, and then right back up to those 70s. So it's that up and down is the time of the year that we get that. Yeah, all right, the West. West. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Thanks, Storm Station. We appreciate that. How about we work our way through the next few days and get you through this week? And today, a mostly quiet one, but we look towards the West and where things are going to be the most active. Yes. Yeah, so today we got some rain coming back to the Bay Area. You can see as we get through tomorrow as well, still some showers there. So this is not a big deluge of rain like we saw with that big Cat 5 atmospheric mm -hmm. river, but it'll be a decent soaking, probably very beneficial coming on it. Look at the mid 60s in NYC here as we head to our through Tuesday and Wednesday. All right. So now we wait and see what happens with our systems that come out of the west middle of the country a lot of the energy
energy pulling north, but out ahead of it, you're going to see moisture returning, showers, maybe even thunderstorms. Yeah, and maybe even some snow. In fact, I wouldn't say maybe. There will be some snow yeah. showers here. Northern portions of the plains, upper Midwest. I'll get ready for that for Thursday into Friday. And it does turn cooler behind the system, but, you know, really on either side. You're just a little above or a little below. Mm -hmm. There's no really, you know, true Arctic air coming in or anything like Week that. Weekend time. How about some 50s in the deep south for highs? And then on Saturday, we're on the Great Lakes. A bit unsettled. Yeah, a little lake effect action. We might be seeing that as we get into the weekend. All right, well, with hurricane season coming to an end and winter weather around the corner, the best time to be prepared is before the weather hits. So having a plan to be ready is important. Here's how to be prepared now.